Now we're going to take a look at Math Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 15, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic E, Division of Tens and Ones with Successive Remainders. Problem 1. Solve a division problem with and without a remainder using the area model. Okay. So to begin with, we're going to be dividing 10 divided by 2. So we're going to divide 10 into two groups. Now the first strategy I'm going to use is I'm going to make an array for that. Now I'm going to use these stars to make my array. And since I know that it's going to be an array, I'm going to try to keep them lined up in nice even rows as best I can. Um, and I'm going to, since I'm dividing it into two groups, I'm going to make two rows. So that's two rows, but I have two stars, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I have drawn ten stars, and I drew them in two different groups. So if I want to think about my groups like this, I can say, okay, this is one group, and this is another group. Two groups, so how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five stars in each group. So my quotient for 10 divided by 2, my quotient, which is my answer to a division problem, is 5. Now I want to do the same thing using this grid. Now one of the things I could do is I could just move the whole group of stars over into the grid and make sure that I was getting one star per box and I can think of it this way. So you see how like I've got one star in each box now? And I'll be using the grid. I'm showing two, ten total, two times five equals ten. But instead of using the stars in the grid, I'm going to I'm going to make a rectangle. So I know I need two. So you see I have two, I'm covering two boxes. Four, six, eight, ten. So now I'm covering ten squares. And like if you'll believe we can move them and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm covering ten squares. I have two rows with five in each row. Two times five equals ten. So two times what equals ten? That is how we can use multiplication to help us solve division problems. All right, let's try another one. This time we're going to do 11 divided by 2. And I'm going to make another rectangle to help me with that. So I have two boxes that I'm covering here, right? So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh oh. If I do two more, I get 12. That's too many. So I can't do two more. Which means I'm going to have to do just one more. Okay. So 11 divided by 2. I'm going to have a quotient, and I'm going to put a Q here and say Q is equal to something. But I'm also going to have an amount remaining. So I'm going to put an R and say that that is equal to something. So my quotient is going to be, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
complete columns with two in each one. So five is my quotient, but I have a remainder of one. Let's try this one. Problem two, solve a division problem using an array and the area model. Okay, so that's like what we were doing. It's just these numbers are a lot bigger. Before we were doing 10 and two, 10 divided by two, now we're doing 38 divided by four. But I think we can do it. So we're going to build, first we're gonna build our array. Now, I have 38, but I want to make an array of 38, but I want to group them in groups of four, or in rows of four, or that it has four rows. I guess that would be the best way to say it, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build an array that has four rows, and here are my rows. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, but if I got four more, I would be up to 40. I'm, and I only want to get to 38. I'm at 36 right now. So let's go 37, 38. Now I have represented as neatly as I could 38 divided by 4. So this is 38. And I set them up into four rows. This row has nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This row has nine, but this row has 10, and this row has 10. So what I need to do is I need to only look at the portion of it that has equal rows. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If I only look at this section, then I can figure out what the area of that would be. I have four on this side, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. So I have 36 in the middle. And I know that because 4 times 9 is 36. I also know that because when I put them out here, I counted up to 36. And then I added these two to make 38. So if I take these 36 away from 38, then I have these two left over. So what would my quotient be? My quotient, and I'm going to put a Q is equal to, my quotient is going to be 9. And my remainder will be 2. So, this is what it would look like if we were solving it using an array. But let's move into area. And remember when we're doing area, we're talking about the grid. We're talking about the how many square units are inside of the rectangle. So I need to represent 38 a lot like I did here. I need to represent it here on the grid. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four rows. So I'm going to draw that here. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to have 9 across the top. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I can complete this rectangle. And 
and that's going to give me 36. And I know this because 4 times 9 is 36. But I need 38, so I need to add two more to this side over here. Okay, so this was my, my drawing of it, and I have like a little rectangle to kind of make sure you can really see it well. But this, and, it, and it's okay to do it if you have grid paper to draw it on here, and then you can actually come in and count the squares and you would have 36. But we don't necessarily need that. See, this is the same size, and we can do the same kind of thing here. If I know this size, four and I know that the inside of this rectangle is 36 then I can find this length this is division when you were doing that when we were working on area you were dividing 36 by 4 now in this case you're dividing 38 by 4 but it just means that you're going to have a remainder so 38 divided by 4, the quotient and the remainder. The quotient would be 9, and the remainder is 2. Okay, so this is um, your problem set, and your homework is going to look a little like this as well. So let's show division using an array. 18 divided by 6. Okay, so we're going to, um, we're going to show this using an array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to draw some dots to represent 18, but I'm going to put them in rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to make 6 rows. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm going to keep going until I get to 18. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I got to 18, so I can stop. And then over here, it's asking me for the quotient. So I know I have 18, and I know that I have 6 on this side. 6 times something gives me 18. 1, 2, 3. So my quotient is 3. My remainder, do I have anything remaining? No, I don't have any dots that have to be on the outside. So my remainder for this one is 0. Now, can you show 18 divided by 6 with one rectangle? Yes, I can. I can show it with one rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I know that there's 18 on the inside because six times three is 18. So, can you show with one rectangle? Yes, I can. Let's try this one. 19 divided by 6. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to represent 19 with dots, and I'm going to do it in groups of 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh-oh, 19. Okay, so this time my quotient is going to be 1, 2, 3, but my remainder is going to be 1. Can you show 19 divided by 6 with one rectangle? Well, I was able to show 
18 divided by 6 with one rectangle, but with this one, I will not be able to. So the answer is no. Explain how you showed the remainder. So I would write that I drew the a small rectangle on the side of the larger rectangle. All right, that's going to do it for lesson 15, where we've been working on understanding and solving division problems with remainders using arrays and area models. If you need additional resources, you can go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click there, click on fourth grade, go to Module 3, Topic E, and you can get the newsletter and it can help you.